Hi, I'm Sarah. For those that are new here, I am a clinical inpatient pharmacist. I work at a hospital and currently my position is called a float pharmacist, meaning I float through different areas of the hospital depending on where they need me. And my position is a little bit unique. So every six months I rotate from days to nights and it looks like my six months are up. So it's time for me to start graveyard. So of course, one thing I had to adjust to was my sleep schedule. I bought some blackout curtains from Amazon and I even bought this uh, Bluetooth mask on Amazon too. Um, you know, I'm living with my family right now and they can be quite noisy. So this was super helpful. I found like a 10 hour heavy rain YouTube video and I just played that while I was asleep. My boyfriend also gifted me some really nice earplugs to use as well. Alright, so coffee is literally the first thing I do when I wake up. It's a necessity for me. This you see here is a Vietnamese coffee drip. And after that, I brush my teeth and then get ready. I keep it super simple because, you know, I'm not really gonna see anyone. <laughs> I'm the only one at night, so. My shift is around 7 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. I leave the house around 6.05. So, okay, chronically I have this issue. I think I'm cursed to always arrive 30 minutes early to everything, no matter what. So somehow, even if I'm trying hard not to come early, I always end up coming early. So my shift starts at 7. I always end up coming at like 6.30, 6.40, and I just chill in the parking lot until it's time to come in. <laughs> Day one, look at me. I had my hair done, had my contacts on, wore my usual outfit. Let's see how long this lasts. Nope. Well, that didn't last very long. My contacts got replaced by glasses. Started wearing a long sleeve underneath because it gets cold at night. My hair, eh, who cares? And I switched over from my fancy figs over to just our standard. So one thing that's different is that I started wearing my glasses. And the reason is because my contacts dry out for 12 hour shifts, so they just couldn't handle it. Usually the first thing that happens is the handoff. So usually the pharmacist for the day will give me handoff to if there's any issues that needs to be resolved on my shift, or if there's anything pending or any compounds that I'll need to make and be aware of. Additional things that I'll do is that I'll look into our drawer and see if all the compounds that we'll need to make for that night and what time they'll be due. And I'll catch up on all my alerts and check my email for anything urgent. So before midnight is when it is probably the busiest, I would say. Our outpatient pharmacy closes at 8 p.m. Once 8 o'clock hits, I am in charge of pharmacy dispensing for outpatient as well. So the ED doctor put in the order, the ED pharmacist will verify and process that order and alert me that there will be some discharge medications to process. So I'll go to our robot that fills the medications, grab it and process it for window discharge. And then when the patient arrives, he'll ring our after hours doorbell. And that will alert me to go over and dispense it, give it to the patient and give some counseling. Now, right at midnight is when we need to print our batch labels. So these are all IV medications that's scheduled between the hours of 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. My night technician would organize the labels and I'd be the one to check her work. So she would fill all the pre-made bags and I'll help out with that too if we're really busy. And then she'll compound all the ones that need to be made too. And then we'll have those sent up. Now, after midnight is when it starts to calm down, depending on your night. So if there's a lot of ED patients that are getting discharged, it can be a busy night. And if there's a lot of ED patients that's being admitted, that's when it can be a little hectic for me too, because 
um, I have to verify all the medications that the doctors put in for the new admins and as well as if they put in, in any prior offs or any perfarms so if the doctor wants to start Banco or they want to start a heparin um, it would be me and the ED pharmacists at night that would try to get those done let's say the ED is pretty calm but it could still be a busy night if there's a lot of really, really sick patients in the ICU. Some of them could be requiring a lot of pressors that need to be made every couple hours. So, you know, the nights just vary a lot. So this week I was very lucky. It was relatively calm and we only had about um, four or five patients in ICU. So it wasn't that crazy this week. So this was my first week doing graveyard. So I, I drank a lot of caffeine this week. What's great about our downtime is that I like to play some kind of documentary in the background with my iPad and work on my planner. Nights sounds really rough, but on the plus side, you get seven days off. I was just so ecstatic for that. You can see my planner. I was just planning out my entire week. This week was my training week actually. So my trainer was actually my co-resident. Here's a clip of him, you know, recording me on my first night and I was clearly falling asleep. Early mornings when it starts to kick up again and gets pretty busy. By this time, the patients are starting to wake up, the nurse shift changes are happening, the doctors are putting out all the orders, so it can get pretty busy. During this time is when we prep for the vaccine clinic. So what I usually do around 5.45 a.m., I'll grab all the vials needed for the vaccine clinic, I'll have everything packed up and ready to go, and once the RN comes to pick up the inventory, they'll check to make sure the count's correct, and then they'll bring it to the vaccine clinic. And around 7 a.m. is when we have our morning handoff. By the time I get home, I'm starving, so I would eat a light breakfast and then go to sleep. Typically, these past couple days, I've been sleeping from about 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that's on a good day. The first couple days is a little bit hard to sleep for a long time, so I'd wake up at 2.30 naturally. And if I find myself that I'm not able to sleep anymore, I would just get up, make myself some coffee. It feels weird to make coffee at such a late time in the day, but, to, but practically it's like my morning, right? So I make some coffee, eat another breakfast or a small meal. Um and then catch up on some YouTube, social media, just chill, relax, and then get ready for work. So far, these are all the shifts I've been trained for, so it's quite a lot. So I started off with the COVID shift, surgery, medicine, H and A shift are like different variations of the central IV pharmacist, but different hours. ICU, SEI is spinal cord injury, mental health, so our inpatient psych, the ER, and K-shift is pretty much our night or graveyard shift. 